Welcome back. Our sponsors at the Alene Barbecue Fest are back again this weekend. The top pit, pit masters are coming out and giving us a taste of exactly what we love. I'm very excited about this. And one of the pit masters you can catch while you're there is Kevin Bledsoe. You know him from your TV screen on the American Barbecue Showdown, and he has the cookbook, Bledsoe's Barbecue Cookbook. The other day, I spoke to Kevin about his experience at the fest and what he'll be cooking up this year. Check it out. Kevin, thank you so much for being here with us today. Glad to be here. Glad to be anywhere. Yes. So tell me a little bit about your background, you know, kind of brag on yourself a little bit right now. Oh, man, I hate doing that. Uh, well, I'm born and raised in Compton, spent summers in Texas, learned how to barbecue out there with my granny and, and you know, opened up a restaurant in Compton years ago, and it's been going crazy ever since then, you know. So just doing my thing and looking forward to coming out there this weekend and hanging out with y'all. Woo! And you are a pit master, um, um, masters being the, the key word. But what makes a good pit master? Uh, somebody who's a stickler that that's... You're going to be a good pit master. You can have a thousand pieces of meat on that pit and every piece of meat has to be checked individually. You know what I mean? Uh, somebody who just respects the craft, respects what you're doing. I mean, barbecuing and smoking is a work of work of art. So, you know, and plus, if you had a restaurant, you want to give people an experience when they come in. You know what I mean? So that's what I try to do every time when I'm on that pit. Oh, I, I like that. And I'm, I'm a huge fan of barbecue. My dad barbecues all the time at home. I'm going home in July and he has the grill. <laughs> he knows to I have the come grill ready. <laughs> I got to come hang out with Pops. I know he get in. Oh, absolutely. So, but what are you going to be showing off at the fest? What can we pick up from you? Oh, they can, they can, you know, first they can go pick up my book and they can learn all the secrets. But, uh, uh, I'm gonna be doing some of uh, the, the dinosaur bone uh, beef short ribs uh, that are excellent. Uh, Friday, Thursday night, I'm gonna be at Michael Jordan's uh, restaurant doing some uh, smoked curry oxtails. Uh, you got so many great chefs. There's gonna be so many doing different things. Uh, Rashid Phillips, Michael Simon, Rocco D. Spiridio, if I said it right. Just so many, too many to name. And local people like Chef Misty, the butcher's wife. Oh, it's going to be a great day. We were there last year and we had a great time. This is the second year and it's getting bigger and bigger every year. So I think everybody in that area of LNA and however come near and far in, in the, what is it, South Pacific? What y'all call that? South no. Pacific, not Pacific. <laughs> uh, don't tell me. Uh, Pacific uh, Northwest. Uh, Pacific That's Northwest. A... Yeah. Make sure y'all all come out and hang out. You going to be there? I, I am definitely going to try because, like I said, I am huge on barbecue. Okay, well, you're going to get some, some, you got people coming in from all over to come cook some good I barbecue. I love it. Now, this I'm glad that you brought that up. We are going to have like a variety of people. Do you think you have any competition at this little fest? Oh, you, yeah. I mean, I'm not competing. You know, I'm OG. I don't have to compete no more. People can just <laughs> check my resume. No, nah, but you got some youngsters up there at the barbecue contest that, like I say, Pacific Northwest is getting known for a lot of barbecue. You know, you guys are doing it up there. So I, I give mad props. Like, it's some good people up there. And, uh, and we're, you know, it's going to be hands-on with us. Uh, I think Rashid is doing a lamb or something like that. Uh, uh, it's, it's a lot going on. It's going to be a lot of different. It's, not, it's just not going to be your backyard hamburgers and hot dogs at LNA this weekend at the Barbecue Festival. It's a lot going on. That's what I like to hear. And like you said, you are an OG. So tell everybody out there, what are you best known for? Like, is it the sauce? Is it the ribs? What? Oh, oh no, it's, it's, the, it's the low and slow, like a six foot. That's how I get out. That's what I'm known for. Take your time, do it right. You know, that's what we known for. Low and slow, mostly brisket, ribs, all that. But everything, you know, you go to a barbecue restaurant, you want everything to be good. The collard greens, the mac and cheese, everything. Everything on that menu has got to be good. You got to act like you had your grandmama's house, you know you ain't gonna cook nothing bad for your grandmother, so that I live by that. I mean, you are talking my language right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, last question for you, what's next for you, like on the menu or your restaurant? Like, is, is there anything else that you're doing that we need to keep an eye out for? Uh, yeah, well, we got a lot going on. I'm, I'm actually a uh, second season of uh, the American Barbecue Showdown. I'm a judge on that, just dropped a few weeks ago, and it's doing excellent. Uh, 
And I actually won the James Beard Award this past weekend. It was one of the most amazing things that I ever did in my life to win a James Beard Award and bring it back to uh, Compton in L.A. So that was impressive. But, yeah, just follow me anywhere on social media. Come meet me this week. If you got the cookbook, bring it up there. I'll sign it for you. But uh, we blessed. We got a lot going on. It's, it's a lot going on, and we're going to keep on pushing. Yes, that's perfect. Oh, my goodness. I love to hear that. And thank you so much for being here. I cannot thank you <laughs> enough. And I know people are going to get out there and love what you're cooking up. <laughs> Well, tell them, yeah, come on by. Come on by and, and, and get them hands and that mouth dirty with this barbecue sauce and all this good meat uh, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We can have a good time. This barbecue fest is right up my alley. Now, my dad's barbecue is always on point, always. But, yeah, you know, Kevin definitely sold me on stopping by his booth. So I encourage you to get a piece of whatever he's cooking up this weekend. And if you love barbecue just as much as I do, you got to stop by and check out check out our sponsors at the a, a Barbecue Fest.